good morning. <laughs> no, it's not even morning, it's afternoon. Shit. Still not good with the time. But anyway, coming to you live and crusty, child. <laughs> Today is a new day. I'm trying to hurry up and kind of straighten up the house a little bit because the doula is, I keep thinking there's something on my shirt, but it's the paint. But the doula I had told you guys about a little bit ago is on her way over here around 2.30. It's around two o'clock right now. I just got finished posting the name reveal video and now I'm trying to make everything look kind of decent. So I didn't show you guys this part, but if you look in my hallway, I took out the changing table out of her room because we were painting as y'all guys know. I gotta kind of like straighten this up because it's stuff that we were doing from the baby shower and we're kind of making up pictures and stuff like that. If you see everything, this is all baby stuff. So, trying to make everything looks decent <laughs> before she comes. So, I have a lot to do, but I thought I should check in first before she get here. So, let's try to get life together. Do you always want Thursdays that you tell me? It just kind of, yeah, it's different days or whatever, just depending on who, who the doctor, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> who okay. the doctor is yeah. at the time and what the schedule is. Right. Yeah, so I went then and then she tried to see also mm -hmm. if she can like fill my cervix or whatever. Like, okay. Of course she can fill my cervix, but um, See, feel I was dilated any whatever. She didn't see any dilation. Okay. But she did totally t tell me to stop taking progesterone. Oh. Okay. Because for some reason that day when I went there, she was like super high, and oh. everything was like getting rock hard. And she was like, I don't understand, okay. like what's going on or whatever. Right, right. She was like, No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. And then that's when she told me like she was like, You have a small pelvis and we need to get stuff going, make right. sure, because um, we expected you to go into labor by 37 weeks. Right. But um, the rate you're going, like, I gained like four pounds in a week. Oh, and, and that's probably why she's not moving as much. She's getting big and that's getting tight. Yeah, it's probably getting tight. So she mm -hmm. was like, oh, I'm a little bit nervous about you having a potentially big baby. Oh. So whatever. Um, okay. So I want you to kind of get stuff going to try right. to get her out pretty soon within okay. the next two weeks. <laughs> yeah, because how many weeks you 35 this week? Uh, 36. 36 this week. Yeah. So no medications or whatever. And she's like, whatever we can do to try to get her coming out soon, we need to yes. get her out. Yeah. So have you been thinking of some different things that you can do to start? Because you're 36 weeks now. You'll be 36 weeks. Yeah. So you can start doing some of those things. Yeah, that's what... Um, so... That is the thing I've been battling... Not battling with, but it's been it's been on my mind. Like, okay, so... I know the burden to tell you different things that you can do. And then the hospital tells you different mm -hmm. things. And I'm conflicted. Like, yes. um, what can I do to help... Right naturally start to soften and right. get me going or whatever because she was like no because if it goes too far then we need to talk induction okay and i yeah, don't want that, don't want that. <laughs> of course massage prenatal massage prostaglandin um nipple stimulation all those things help to get you going so did the birthing center tell you those things did they tell you they told me okay so they told me uh i can do um yeah, they said the nipple stimulation. They mm -hmm. said even pumping. Yep. They said um, castor oil. Yeah. They said the red leaf tea. Yes. And mm -hmm. I think uh, primrose oil. Perma, primrose oil, yes. Oh, what now, now the red leaf tea, the castor oil, the primrose oil, the care provider will probably not, castor oil they'll go for more so than the red leaf tea and the premise oil. Mm -hmm. So you have to, you're supposed to talk to the care provider first and mm -hmm. see if they want you to do that. But I, I would start off with the nipple stimulation and prostaglandin. When we got the baby there, we'll What's the, the uh, like 
sex? Yes. Okay, I was yes. like, wait, yes. what's yes. prostaglandin? Yes. I was like, wait, what? Yes. <laughs> no, so that is off in your service being no. that, yeah, that she, the medication you were taking. Yeah, so that will help. Shut up. <laughs> you shut up. He was like, yeah, they said it now. <laughs> you know? No. Okay, so this was my thing about, because I was thinking about doing the uh, pumping too. Okay. Would that take away from the whole, okay, because you know colostrum is usually mm -hmm. what comes out first. Right. So I'm like, if I pump, then wouldn't I go past that? Nope. The only way past colostrum is black agendas too. And like agendas two is when the placenta leaves the uterus and then oh. it goes to the pituitary gland. So you'll still have it. Okay, so yep. still, so that was my concern. Yes. I didn't want to go past and right. I wanted to give that you to won't. her. You won't. And even if you get some that come out, store it. Just put it in the refrigerator and the freezer. And just save it for yep. her? Save it for her. Okay. Yep. So I just yeah, and I had some moms who did that and just put it up. Now, knowing that pumping for sure will get you because oxy oxytocin is what our hormone used to make our uterus contract. So you will start feeling crampy. Mm -hmm. No matter what, you're gonna feel crampy. Mm -hmm. It's just will you stay in those waves. So, but it is safe to do now. It's safe to do now. Okay. Because yeah, they want you to deliver, and I don't want you know want you to run into it. after going through what you're going to do. What you did, yeah. Induce. So what about the castor oil thing? The castor oil is a stimulation as well. Mm -hmm. Castor oil, once you swallow, it makes you go to the bathroom. So the contractions from going to the bathroom make you just contract as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I was wondering if that yeah, okay. I know a lot of like island people do it a lot mm -hmm. too so i'm used to hearing it okay but um yeah just be careful stay hydrated yeah <laughs> please drink plenty of fluid so you know it's cool to do just tell them about hey i'm gonna take some castor just let them know all right so positions for labor is a program that shows you different positions that you can do do different stages mm -hmm. so i thought it would be good for you guys to watch this so this is like uh, just like massage techniques and things. Well, like most of them are position movements, oh, like okay. walking, kneeling, hands and knees, squatting type positions. Breach presentation is when the baby is positioned feet or buttocks down in the uterus. Like transverse, this presentation is common during early pregnancy, but most babies turn from breech to head down before the end of Can the they be born trimester. like that with butt out first? If your baby is yes, still in breech presentation, I've seen that delivery the with the butt out first. Too. Really? But most the health care provider can present a number of mm -hmm. options to can't. He or she twins. may attempt to turn really? the baby manually first. prior to delivery, which is called an external version. To do an abdominal lift, Place your hands below that would the belly. Help push the baby down. Bend at the knees. Well, fuck, push the baby inside the pelvis. The but babies, if she's in labor already the there, is over, the purpose of that is to get that relief off your back. You know what I'm saying? From having the contractions in the back. Oh, so just like the pain relief. Yeah, yeah, pain relief. Is it true that if you do have an epidural, that you can't get up and walk? Yeah. These monitors the only thing we'll be able to do is put it from side to side. But the pain of ball is going to help us. It's a proven fact that your labor goes faster. Are still possible during fetal yeah, monitoring. Would you recommend letting them Squat drink during water? Sometimes. And sit mm. back when they're It depends on what state and phase you are, because that water is going to cushion a little bit. Your pain will be a lot more. A toilet I know, that's what I'm saying. I heard about that. It's yeah, like, and then if they break it, they kind of on the timeline. You know, and then you can start Shift getting an infection because that barrier is not dry. Only if it's medically necessary and you're close and they say, okay, the baby is live now. Sideline is a good yeah. position. If you're tired, like, let's break your water. Your so, yeah. But I do heard that it can get worse. It does, because that, that, think about that water in there now. Just you and baby. You will lie on your right or left yeah. side. Mm -hmm. The only thing I've noticed over the years with the epidural with breastfeeding, sometimes the baby's mouth get a little numb. Mm -hmm. So they have a little trouble breastfeeding, but some of them work right there with the champs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. The hospital said they have an IV medication too. They do. Yeah. They have several. So some um, some of them they they have used um, yeah they have several state all all types of medication I know they have used um, I want to think not methadone but um, it's another medication they use it's all pain medication yeah but one thing about that medicine they cannot give it to the moms when they're in, in um, the last time the last um, phase of labor because the baby would be affected by it the baby would be all sleepy and lethargic and won't breastfeed. So they only give it to a certain point. And sometimes that medication, it depends on who you are, how you feel about the medication. It mm -hmm. make you feel a little woozy and then you won't like that feeling and don't want that medicine yeah, no more. So you have to try. Is. 
what they said. Yeah, and see which one they're going to give. They in that purple book, they have all of them, mm-hmm. and every hospital won't use all of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it depends, mm-hmm. and then you won't be able to walk around and get up when you have it. They make you lay down with it. Okay. Okay, just to have a heads up on it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Are you able to show um, ways to help, like the physician massages with him? Because uh-huh. I was talking about that last time, yeah. and we wasn't yes. really sure how to. Um, you have a bird fall? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there are there are some things you can do. Mm-hmm. Bird fall would be great. See, you sitting out here now. It'd be cool if you sitting on that bird fall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so yeah. It's like one of the things that Lord Uh-oh. be offense. Jesus, be offense. <laughs> no, she gets crazy when she sees. Oh, just yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the perfect. It's a little flat though. I want it like this. It's okay, perfect. it's good. Yeah, mm-hmm. perfect. Okay. All right. Nice so thing. what I need to do. Alright. Really, as much as you can, this ball needs to be where you at. Okay. I need you, if you want to lean forward on it. Okay. What, like this? Mm-hmm. Ugh. A lot of times if you see mom, she's this is her spine. So if you want to do some massages to go and do the these are called epidurages. If she's having back pain, you can just squeeze her hip a little bit to to um Relieve some of that, you can let it open, you feel mm-hmm. that? So right here, where her hip bone's at, you just take your hand flat, just, that tends to help yeah. with some of the back pressure. You wanna try it and see what you're feeling? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like, just, like you fan it out like she has wings. Yeah, and then you just put, if you put some oil on there sometimes, yeah. if you wanna get her skinny up, I promise you, even if you go as far as up to her shoulders and do it, it'll make her feel better. You don't have to be under my shirt, child. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, it's perfect. Now, the hip. These are her hip bones, so just put your hands. You kind of like, you see how I have my hands straight? Uh, right there. Mm-hmm. And you gotta keep asking her where, she, where you feel it, and you gotta like squeeze up. Feel that? Uh, go down a little bit. Yeah. Like reposition your hip. Like, yeah. Yeah, not squeeze up. Yeah. yeah, and just hold it there. Like sometimes if you hold it there, mm-hmm. that takes that pressure off her back, and they everybody they be like, oh, it feels yeah. so good. <laughs> yeah, and just do it, and then probably just hold it for like a good ten seconds and release it. Yeah, that helps. Much better. Good. So that's that's two massage positions you can use. Then, um, let me see you sit on the ball. Have you sat on this ball before? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. See how you're sinking in? <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Exactly. I, I didn't want, I'm so happy you didn't fill it up. I didn't okay. it <laughs> because swaying side to side is a great position. And then also you can just, you know, massage her shoulders. You, get, you have access to everything to help her. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I guess this ball is better than yeah, it's just so it's it. Why we don't worry about you rolling off oh, of it, you're yeah. sinking mm-hmm. in, it's soft on your perineum, you know, it just it's just better. Mm-hmm. And then if you decide to sit with the baby, it's cool. Mm-hmm. Now, if you want to, you can put a, just a little bit more air in it, but I want you to sink in this ball. I don't want you yeah. to be so where you bounce, like, oh, it's kind of stiff. You know? Yeah, mm-hmm. it doesn't work that way. No, it doesn't work. So, yes, and then she can lay back on you, um, just all kinds of nice, firm little touches helps mom to relax and this is what we do on labor and delivery and make sure she's way side to side okay and these are just relaxing especially for back how's your back been feeling anyway been doing okay baby no no the devil's been on my back (laughs) (laughs) okay (laughs) I'm sorry Get on your back. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, those double hit squeeze I showed you, if you can just say, she said, my back hurt, tell her, lean on the ball, squeeze. squeeze. Hold yes. it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, let it go. Mm-hmm. And it's just pushing the pelvis and it's letting the baby settle and it's taking that pressure off her back. Mm-hmm. So those are some massages. And then you definitely can rub her feet, not on this ball. 
<laughs> Did she say no? <laughs> yeah, just don't want you on this ball, don't it? You know why? I don't want my feet touched. But look, let me just tell you something on your ankles. Okay. These are some points right here that can help you with labor. Mm -hmm. Right here. In front of it, that not and behind it. Yeah, just put some firm pressure. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. But other than that, you're like, no? Mm-mm. You know how you gonna have her like that too. I bet you. Don't touch my feet. I'm not touching your feet. You can squeeze the little bone part. But that's it. That's it. Double hip squeeze. I promise you, you are gonna be her best friend. <laughs> yeah, the hip yeah. thing was probably the best thing. Right. And then if you get on your hands and knees in the bed and you wanna just lay on your chest a little bit on the side, mm -hmm. just be capping your belly. That helps with your back too. Okay. It's called. It's, they call it cat cow for in, in um yoga. Just lay with your butt up in the air. And I just take some ball, though? No, you don't have to do it with the ball. Just okay. put your pillows up under your chest. Okay. Yeah, just to give you a different position where you can get off your back and not be on your side all the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. to give you some relief. Okay. Yeah. We tested out that pump over there. Did you? Yeah. You know how to, did it, did you guys, did you try it? Uh, yeah, we uh, tipped it or whatever. We think we was doing it right because I started to see a little bit come out. You were doing it right? So. How did it feel? Did it feel, just feel like a tug pull? Yeah, it was just like a tug. Yeah, it wasn't like painful or yes. anything like that. It didn't make your stomach cramp at all? Slightly, but then mm -hmm. we got started when we started seeing stuff come out. It was like, are we supposed to? I don't know. And then we just No matter what, your it. body's going to make more, but yeah. Yeah. Just next time, save it. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. We only seen like a, a pinch come out. He was like, stop, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. <laughs> so she's going to get you to see more. As you keep doing it, yeah. you're going to see more. Okay, yeah. yeah. So if, if that one that we tried like mm -hmm. worked for us, do you suggest us trying any other ones? No, I think that's a good If Which one you have in it? So we have yellow? two. Um, oh, it's right here. We have this one, this new one, and then we have the Mandela on the bottom. Mandela, yeah, that's my one. I love it. Yeah, it's good. But the nook is good. That that nook is, is, is good as well. This is one you guys tried? Yeah, mm -hmm. this is the one that we tried or whatever. So this okay. one we have. So if I do do, if I end up pumping, right, and then mm -hmm. the, storing the milk, mm -hmm. then is that going to create nipple confusion if I try to, like, feed that to her versus? Great question. It would if you use a bottle. So that's what I'm saying. Like, But it's a way. You don't have to use a bottle. You can use a spoon or a cup. Oh, just kind of like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just because she's only going to take a couple of drops anyway because the stomach is going to be as small as this. Just get a little spoon that you want just hers, pour it in there, and just let her lick it off. Don't, you know, throw it down, let her lick it off, or she won't get confused. Okay. Yep. All right. Great question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question. Practice, guys. Mm -hmm. Put a little bit more air in there and just practice with the position that you saw and practice with the double hip squeeze. Mm -hmm. Not that like that. <laughs> yes. All right, you guys. Ooh. A little, a little, a little bright. As you can see, I don't know exactly everything I got. Hope they got everything. But as you can see, that was our doula or whatnot. She's great. What do you think? Now you finally met her. She cool. Cool people. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. She, no, she talking about. She's like a like a mama or something. Yeah, David was finally able to meet her and. Child, child don't mind her. We was trying to cut her. Yeah, she, you might have heard her yelping in the back. Yeah, she was yelping, child. She gets crazy when David's around or whatnot. But yeah, so that is now done with. I feel better that I can do some other stuff to help things keep going. Y'all guys probably didn't hear yet because I haven't had uh what you call that? What? What I haven't done. A bump date, yeah. I haven't done a bump date, so y'all guys don't know, but that's a little bit of what's going on. That being said, I'm gonna try some of the stuff. I know there's gonna probably be people in the comments saying, no, she's wrong, or don't do this, do that, or whatever. Life will go on. You'll be totally fine. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna be it, but I think this will probably be pretty long. So, <laughs> we'll see you in the next one.